Welcome back everyone, Toys is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, the Deluxe Series Ram Man, heroic human battering ram. <laughs> He's got a spring-loaded body that blasts back. Cool. <laughs> the artwork on the back is cool. I'll give him that all day. I like seeing Faker right there. Faker's in the new wave. He's coming out as well. The robotic duplicate. And like I said, yeah, you kind of push this guy down and he pops back up. And then you get to see all the other cross cells. Here's the barcode. He has been hitting targets. Mine came from Amazon. So I'm stoked to finally have him because I have not seen hide nor hair of this guy on shelves just yet. But sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, the Deluxe Ram Man, the heroic human battering ram, or whatever. <laughs> and here he is all out of the packaging, and much like the other Deluxe series, he comes with a few weapons, he comes with an extra head, and he comes with an extra hand as well. And for these human origin figures, I really like that they do that. I just think that that adds just a little bit more, especially like this more armored looking head right here. That's cool. It's the same exact type of head, but just face plate is now over the face. Comes with a giant axe. I definitely dig that. That's a perfect weapon for a guy called Ram Man. He comes with an extra fist in hand as well. And then he comes with another sort of axe right there. And what's cool about these is that they fit together to create one giant weapon. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. This Ram Man, he's very cool. I'm glad to finally have him. But I feel like in some ways he's a little bit too basic. Like he needs a little bit more paint. Something like that to really bring it out. I really like his skull belt. That's cool. The two extra heads. You see, you know, it's got one, the face plate, one unmasked. And yeah, it fits right on there just like that. His little skirt. It's just, it's all flat plastic. Whereas I feel like all the other He-Man figures have a little bit more to it. I don't know why, this one just kind of strikes me as that. Nice articulation in the head. His arms go all the way out. The metal plate up here on his shoulders is like a flexible rubber, so you can mess around with it. Spins at the elbows, single jointed hands, nothing at the waist. The legs do have articulation, so you get a little bit of a knee, and he will spin at the knee as well. So you can kind of turn the boots and move his feet every which way. But that's it. He can't, like, kick out. That's one of the bummers. You push him down just like this, and here's his power. Boom. <laughs> Here he is in slow motion. He can jump really high. Now you can aim it at your figures if you want, all the bad guys, and just ram them to death. The fact that the two weapons fit together. I'll give him that all day. I think that's really interesting. And, of course, you can pull him apart. And he's just going to go to town hacking and slashing his way. I guess he fits with He-Man. He is like a little smaller character. You can help me out if this is scalable in that sense. And he's also shorter than Skeletor. I guess I do like the height. I could see this guy being like a bowling ball, wrecking ball they throw into the fight. Something like that. But, in either sense... He's missing a little something or other, I guess, in the plastic. It's just a little bit too flat, and I think he falls flat in that sense, so to speak. I like him, but a little bit more, I think, could have been done. But I like the little gimmick. I like that he can jump up or ram or whatever you want to say. And he's got an extra head. That's cool. It's a nice extra head portrait, and I love the fact that the weapons fit together. Overall, he's a nice figure. I like the gimmicks, and I'm into the He-Man Origins stuff. So again, if you want to fill me in on Ram Man, you can as well. I'm excited for He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Revelation. Those are going to be... That's, I mean, I'm looking forward to the show. Hopefully it's good. I, I have no reservations going into this. Like I said, I started all the He-Man stuff with this line in particular. So... That's the coolest looking He-Man I've seen thus far. The old filmation stuff. It's no, that's not 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 a thing for me. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about Ram Man. Do you have Ram Man? Are you caught up on the new Masters? Are you looking for the new wave? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Masters of the Universe. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to the He-Man, just just relax and enjoy the show, right? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.